Hello, welcome to Eyes of Harmony, First Thoughts, where we're going to just briefly talk about the pilot, the first episode of Season 10. Uh, Doctor Who's been off the air since 2015, we didn't have a series last year, so Conrad and I are just going to discuss the first episode of what we th uh, thought on first viewing. Say hello, Conrad. Was it all in one breath? <laughs> Yeah, it basically was. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even practice that. So yeah, so the pilot. <laughs> so I guess we talk about the biggest thing, which is new companion. Um, I, I liked her. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. I do have a fair few issues with the story, but one thing it did manage to do is it made me like Bill. I was a bit iffy on the trailers because of the questions I was getting, and I thought, well, maybe she's annoying, but. That was really just the way the trailer was cut. Actually, when she did ask a question in the story, it was it fitted. entertaining. It, it, it fitted, fitted in. And it was entertaining. Uh, I, I, I did like Bill as a character. Definitely. And um, they put her through a full range, really. They did a kind of happy, sad, like the moment where she was looking through the photos. That was that was really a really nice moment. You know, that was like it was nice because like the doctor, like, you know, he got the rug and it's like, I didn't get you anything. And he like took all those photos so that they had them, and that was that was really sweet. Um, and there were really nice moments in it, definitely. In it. Um, Though, really uh, wish, scary moments the... as well, especially when when you first see Heather in the puddle. Like I shat myself, man. Like that was <laughs> that was terrifying. Like you know, I know as a young kid, I would have been scared of that. And there were many many jump scares, like in the bathroom. That was good as well. Great scene there. And when she uh, grabbed Bill's face, we all knew it was going to happen. But it still was like, you know, it still kind of made you jump a tiny bit. Like, ah. Uh. But yeah, no, really, really is, good uh, directing. Really about, good directing. About the... Yeah, and you mentioned the puddle with the face. And yeah, that, that was a cool, like, visual. But, like... What is the puddle? I question... The, what is the puddle? Like, yeah. I mean... I think they're going to explain it later. And how does it get into space? I know they're going to explain it later, but how's... Like, it made sense when they went to Australia, right? Because the water can go through the pipes, you can get around. That Time makes travel, sense. yeah. But how does a puddle get to space? Well, like, it was a pilot, again... it was a spaceship, but mm. it's like, how does it have time travel capabilities? Mm. That true, That's my... True. Like, I could get it travelling, but it was its time travel capabilities. That was what made me question it. Um, also, probably the only other negative I'd have is at the beginning, the pacing's a bit odd. Um, and I don't odd. think, I don't know, I think that was probably the wrong way round to introduce Bill. I think we should have seen her in the lectures first, and then the doctor spotted her and called her into the office. But that's just like a nitpick, it didn't really take anything from the episode. Um, I yeah. have a few other issues. Um, so first off, when the doctor heads into the TARDIS when they're being chased by the Flood for the first time when it gets in um, they they get head away and they head down to the basement where this vault is oh the vault yeah why do they go to the vault, vault first the doctor says oh it's because I think the, the, the thing is going after that but like if the thing was going after you presumably in order to get to the um, vault if that was the case why would you head straight down to the vault in order to let it know where well, if, it is? If it was interested in the vault, it would have already known where it was. Exactly. So it would have already gone there. So he was already exactly. checking. He was checking on it. And to be honest, that was just setting up this uh, season's arc. Which, to be honest, I prefer this as a story arc to everything else we've had in the Stephen Moffat era. At least if it's this subtle... Because the thing is, the hybrid was shoved in our face. If they don't mention the vault in every bloody episode, then it'll be perfect. It'll be fine. It'll be a good story. I arc. wonder how the Whatever. vault's doing when yeah. they're in the middle of, like, a battlefield. Yeah, if, they, if every 30, you know, if they spend 30 seconds every episode with a freaking, oh, the vault, the vault, what's in the vault? Vault, vault. Vault? End up jumping over things and vaulting. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I might, uh, okay, another other, uh, big uh, thing is Nardol. Now, Nardole, yeah. you could tell, okay, the there's one line where you could tell it was the Doctor's originally, and they just gave it to Nardole, which is when he's explaining to Bill about the TARDIS, about a big box and a smaller box. If you listen to it, it's literally the Doctor's line. You can really tell. Also, the other bit is when Nardole's talking about, like, the, the biggest fire in the universe. He goes really kind of weirdly psycho there. 
Like, oh, mm. brilliant. The bigger, you know, the worst fire in the universe. That's exactly what we need. I know, but I still enjoyed his performance. I didn't hate him. And, um, yeah. I mean, I've seen a lot of criticism online. Like, he did nothing. But the thing he is, if, do anything. If, if you went the other way and he did loads and Bill did nothing, people yes, would be sure. complaining. Like, people need to understand that this was Bill's episode, so Nardole's taking the back foot for, like, a few episodes, okay? It's, it's already think... been explained. He's taking the back foot for a few episodes to get Bill established, and then Nardole will come in and have more of a main character but thing. I don't entirely think that's the... is is entirely the people who are criticising its fault... I think they should do a better job of setting him up in the Christmas special. That's because true. Because they didn't set him up in the Christmas special, and really, they should have. Well, they, they, didn't, they was, didn't know he was, he was going to be. They didn't know it was going to be a big character in uh, Husbands of River Song, and then Doctor Mysterio. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. If they, don't, if they don't explain it in Husbands of River Songs, that's fine. But why was he not like a bigger part? Yeah. of Doctor Mysterio. Like, if they're going to set him up as a travelling companion, why not set him up as a travelling companion? Yeah, that is true. Um, right, that's that's the issue there. One of the major issues I have with this episode, and this is probably the only other one I can think of without diving too deep into this, but um, basically, basically, um, there are several parts of the episode, right? Bill, when they're facing the pun and such, you know, it's all gets emotional and stuff, and then they keep doing the flashbacks right but it's like only like two or three scenes and yet they keep flashing back over and over again like yeah. remember all the times we had together oh i'm so sad remember all the times we had together cast back to the same two scenes over and over and over again well, the last one the last one was she was checking that she still had her memories and they hadn't been wiped. So the very last well, that, that, one that, made that sense. The last one made sense. But, like, throughout, like, especially, like, with the dollar ship, that happens, like, f- what, three flashbacks in, like, quick succession? Like, right there? Like, I know it's supposed to be an emotional scene, but we saw what happened. We were watching the episode, thank you, episode. That is true, yeah. They didn't really need to go so in depth. And, like, it, again, this happened several times. It happened when they were at the home. That happened when they were, like, away, and it... It kept on happening, and it bothered me because they didn't need to flash back as much as they did. Did they flash back that many times? I swear they only they did. They flash back several times. They they did. Like they kept flashing back. They kept doing to the oh the party scene. They bumped into each other and like and they keep yeah you know, they they did they did. Oh keep yes yes doing no that. they did it the first time. Well, yeah, the party scene was weird. Did Heather even talk to Bill at the party, or did they just stare um, at each I think, other? I think in one of the variations, because there were several variations that they showed, and one of the variations they mentioned Bill quickly, they said something between each other. But, like, almost every other variation, it's just them staring at each other. And, again, I think we saw that same moment several times throughout the episode, which, again... We didn't need that. Mm, that is a little confusing, but um, I mean, overall performances were great. Um, well di- great. Directing was brilliant. I expect a lot from next week in terms of directing. I really do. This this one set the bar, um, definitely. Uh, but yeah, I'd say all around a good opening episode. Opening episodes yeah. aren't supposed to be the best of the season. It would make no sense if it was the best of the season. I also I also say um. Compared to, like, the other series, like, before this, and specifically with Clara and Danny, I think the romantic relationship is set up better here. Yeah, that is true. It was it was set up way better. Um, way, like... Yeah. Because they're, start, they're starting, like... Because they're not exactly a couple. It's, it's just a crush at the moment. Yeah, it was a crush. And they're it presumably a... going to build that up as the series goes along. Yeah, I think Heather will appear at some points. Of course, that, that's what they're building up to. Um, that, that's exactly um, what they... Mavellans were wasted, though. Just, just. Oh that yeah, there. and it, they didn't even name drop them. No, like, yeah. Because like, uh, for younger viewers, you're gonna see these weird people in wigs. Like, it would have been nice if the doctor just name dropped them, so like the only viewers could go, "Oh, who are they?" And perhaps look them up Google or something. Them, and go yeah. and discover Destiny of the Daleks, but no, they didn't even do that. That's just not important. Who yeah. cares, right? Five, Five seconds. seconds. Don't need them. Yeah, we hired actors so, yeah. to do these costumes and stuff. Yeah. So overall, yeah. overall, it was a it was a 
decent episode. Good for a, for an opening. Um, audience uh, watching was up. That was up. The only one which beat bit, it. From, yeah. I mean, the only one which not... beat it from last season was Hell Bent. So that's pretty good that the opening uh, beat last year's opening. It's true, though. It's still down compared to how it was before. I think it might be slow to kind of build back up, and I don't think we'll see like. Similar, similar numbers, numbers even to compared, compared to like Matt Smith era until like we, we get the new showrunner and the new doctor and such true true uh, I think we're in a slight low but um, I think there is more excitement for this series and it's got a better time slot so I think generally I think it will continue to a bit better yeah but anyway so next week Smile um, I mean I know before we were, we were a bit more kind of not sure about it but it looks like a, a better setup than uh, In the Forest of the Night which was obviously the other Frank Cottrell voice script, so I guess yeah, we'll see. Not sure about so it, tell guys. us what you thought of a pilot below. Um, you know, what did you think of Bill? What did you think of a monster? Did you want more explaining? Did you do you think it will be explained later on? Uh, what did you think of Nardol? Uh, are you sad that C- this Capaldi's the last season? Because hell yeah, I am. Because it feels like Capaldi's kind yeah. of finally getting in the full stride of the Doctor, and it's kind of sad that this really, is going to be his yeah, final. I, would, I, I really would have loved to have seen in this series like, like, that, that wasn't directly done, done by Moffat. I, I think, think that would have been interesting to see. see. Yeah, because yeah, um, we, we haven't had, had that happen, really. Where we haven't. No, like, there's been well, no crossover. In in New Who, yeah. it's always been the same writer. And in fact, in Old Who, like, it hasn't happened since the Tom Baker era. Yeah, that's true. Different showrunners. Like, I think it would have been interesting to see. I think it might have... Wasn't part we to Tom Baker same? Uh, what, what do you mean? mean? Same producer. Um, um no, no. Well, well they, they they Barry Letts and them um, Terrence Sticks continued, continued the robot, robot and, and then, then they, they passed, passed it on after, after that. that. Ah, yeah, they did the first story and then left. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I think that was interesting. interesting though. Anyway, think, that's know. that's for a different time. Anyway, yeah, that's thank, for a different you, time. thank you very much for listening. We're Eyes of Harmony. You are. Uh, uh, people so subscribe we, we, we presume so subscribe or not be. don't just be a puddle and and you know follow us and be be the passengers be the pilot and decide what you, what you want to do you know don't don't promise or anything so see ya boy boy <laughs>